hi guys welcome back to my channel so oh let me just put my microphone in hold a second let me just put my microphone in focus okay okay so hi guys welcome back to my channel so uh, i've either i'm either gonna upload yeah okay i'm gonna upload the makeup on first so you've probably seen me with this um look in um a full face only color pop makeup look so um yeah i'm back with another video so i thought you know what since i'm here let me show you how i edit my pictures so i did take pictures with this look here um i will be taking my hair down um i'm showing you two kind of ways i take my pictures so i take my pictures with my iphone and then i take my well i used to take my pictures with my iphone 6s and then i just started taking pictures with my um my canon 750d now i've upgraded and i've got the canon 80d it's not really much of an upgrade but it's an upgrade to me anyways because i love my canon 750d but i thought you know what let me just upgrade my camera to see if there's any changes and to be honest there is a lot of changes with this Canon 80D compared to my last one I don't think the camera's too good on this phone to be honest I think maybe if you're on holiday when it's nice and bright and sunny and you go in portrait mode I think it will bang then but other than that I don't think the camera's too cute on this but I will still take pictures on my iPhone and stuff like that anyways before we get into this let me just introduce you back to this hair I'm still rocking the same hair I did in the previous video here this is the Wonders hair. They sent me four bundles. Yeah, this is the hair we're gonna be taking the pictures with today. I thought, you know, why not? Um, I don't know if I'm gonna stay with this lip color all the way through the video. I might just go in for a nude. I don't know, it depends on my mood to be honest. Let me just take it down just to show you. <laughs> to show you what the hair looks like down because you didn't see it in my previous video. So, um, yes. I wanted like a middle part in my previous video then I ended up doing um, my hair up. Uh, I thought, you know what, let me just put it down this time and see what happens. Uh, so this is the hair here. Like I said before, they sent me an 18 inch closure but I didn't use a closure. I wasn't in the mood to have a closure wig so um, the closure was still nice. Like I said before, I just couldn't be bothered to use a closure. So I did use all of the bundles, all, all of the bundles. It look, looks longer than 22 inches. I can't complain, can't complain at all. I like bushy hair when it comes to like curly hair guys. But I am gonna put some curls in at the front because as you can see, there is literally no curls here. It literally is just bush. <laughs> hair looks like once you curled it up here again as you can see it was bushy before and now it's gone to a nice tight curl so if I finger comb this out this is what it looks like here I'm gonna put some mousse on to the parting and on some of the curls as well Okay, so I changed the hair up. This is how it's looking now. It's kind of like a side part. Doesn't, do you know when you like to do a side part swoop? I think this is the hairstyle I'm going to do today. Last time, I think this was like maybe almost two years ago or a year ago. No, it was definitely almost two years ago that um, I recorded a video on how I edit my pictures and how I take my pictures with my iPhone and stuff like this. There's some, some stuff that I do differently now, some stuff that I do the same. Um, I use face tune still, I just do stuff a bit differently. Um, yeah, I haven't taken a picture with my friend in ages, so wish me luck guys. So don't mind my armpits guys, they are shaved, okay? <laughs> they are. I found out to get your highlighters kind of popping more in pictures, you need to go overboard in person. So yeah, in person it looks a hot mess, but in pictures it comes out looking cute. So make sure you've got your highlighter all on. Right. 
Okay. That's gonna have to do. So what I do is I go through the pictures that I've taken and I favourite like my favourite ones. Okay, so I look to see what needs changing. Everything. So the first thing I do, I go on retouch and then I go on smooth. I go on the double one. I smooth over something and then I put it to like a hundred. Yeah? See you later. Where are you going? Oh well done. <laughs> so as you can see. I'm just smoothing over everything, so ignore that it's on 100 guys, I like to do 100 so I can see where I'm, I'm doing it. So what I do is I do it all over my face, but my, just don't touch your eyebrows, don't touch like your highlight or anything like that. So um, yeah, let me just, yeah, that's what I do. So as you can see, when I press before and after, before and after, you can see like the definition now has come out of my face. So what I do is I get like the level and I bring it down to where I want it to smooth. So I want like a really nice smooth picture. If it's going to be on Instagram, I'm going to go OTT. So yeah, I need it like really smooth because I've got big pores. So I do like that kind of smooth. So I press that. Okay, so then I go into my hair and see what needs changing. That is like a part in it, but it looks like a patch, so that's not cute. So I go into paint and I use black, and I'm just going to like basically <coughs> blacken it up a bit. Oops, so it's before, after, so you don't want to do it too much, but like make it just a bit darker. Okay, so I'll go into paint now, and as you can see, my the colour of my face is, is two different things. So, so I go into with paint and go on this colour onto skin, and again I make it all the way up to a hundred. Yeah. Bye. Bye. So as you can see, <laughs> I'm looking very orange. So um, again, I put it all the way up to 100 so I can see what I'm doing. And obviously this is not gonna, I'm, I put it into my lace as well because if you see my lace before, it was looking a bit pale also. So um, obviously I go all the way down and I put it all the way up now. And you see before, after. So obviously you're not going to get like the melanin back completely but this will have to do guys I'm not looking like this like a ghost so I make it like there okay so before I go in with my face a bit more let me start on the eyes so as you can see my eyebrows are fainted like they're they're just not looking that black and I've got really black eyelid I am um, eyebrows so I like to go in with paint again this is all about paint using paint guys and then I just fill in my eyebrows I don't do it I'm not the neatest when it comes to um, editing my pictures I literally I literally like take 20 minutes to do, 15 minutes to do my my pictures and that's it because I honestly don't see the point of staying there for a good hour editing the picture can't be bothered so again I always pull it <laughs> to like a hundred and then I like go all the way down and then I kind of like go to like 15 on that so if you see before or after my eyebrows are kind of more deformed. Okay so as you can see my eyelashes are not really standing out or my eye makeup that it would do in like if I took a picture with my Canon. So what I do now I go into paint again and then I try and mimic my eyeshadow so if I had a transition colour like this colour I'd go in with this. Oh no, like just a little bit here, okay it's looking a bit mad guys don't worry and then I go in with like this colour on my eyelids because I think that's what I had in real life, something like this, I know it's looking a bit mad guys but it should all come together. Ok, 
okay I kind of do like that and then I pull it all the way down again and then pull it up okay just a little bit can you see the difference so I'll do that and then I'm gonna go in again with paint and then use that darker shade again just to stand it out a bit more and then under my eyes as well because that's where I had it in real life so it's not going to be like the same obviously but um there will be you'll see a difference kind of thing and then I go in with paint I use paint again and go with black and then I go over my eye eyelashes eyelashes and my eyeliner to make it stand out a bit more because iPhones washes out my makeup I don't know if it's just me but it washes out my makeup completely and then I had eye I had eyeliner as well so I go in with that and then I do it again with the other eye and again guys if this is not a neat job okay <laughs> you can sit there for an hour if you want and do it neat but I can't be bothered and that's what I do for my eyes and then I go in with whiten and then of course I put it all the way up to 100 I whiten out my eyes because your eyes stand out way more better when they're whitened obviously you don't want to pull it all the way up because it looks a bit fake so then you just need it like halfway to get some more definition back into my face i use go to skin and then i use like the lightest color lightest highlighting color and i kind of like fake highlight again can you see my pores guys they're so big so yeah i fake highlight i fake the highlight my nose my forehead everywhere that I'd highlight in real life kind of thing and then I put it down to like the lowest and then I'll see where I could have it so not too much but just to say like just to bring out that highlight and that contour again so then I go and paint again to skin on the darkest brown I go in with some fake contour again and I contour whatever I'd contour in real life just to snatch back my face so then I go all the way down and put it up now can you see the difference it made like it brings back your contour again basically just to make my highlight pop a little more you know I go on structure and then just highlight my highlight basically my eyebrow bone, oh, not too much. My brow bone, not too much of that. Yes, like that. Just for it to stand out a bit more. So I don't do anything else when it comes to the face kind of thing. Now for the lips, I'm going to paint again, of course. And I go into this, yeah, this colour. This will be like my lip liner colour. When I do that, I pull it like well, how I'd have my lip liner. And then I go in with like a red, how I do it in real life. And of course, this is not gonna be like the same and I go all the way down and put it back up So before, after, like there. And of course I want a matte lip, so I'm gonna go in with matte and mattify this up a tad bit more. 
there. My battery's about to die, guys. I need to speed this up. Okay, 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 okay. Pressure. Go on to, I used to like blur the background. I think I can quickly do that. Do focus, make it all the way up to 100 and blur out this background. Okay, then I want to now adjust and I adjust the lighting. So I'll make it a bit darker. Put my contrast up a bit. Color. But don't put too much colour in my skin because sometimes I end up looking orange. I sharpen the picture because it's with my iPhone. <coughs> um, light, I go in for like two shadows. Um, that's the difference between the shadows as you can see. So I go in with like 24, minus 24. And then highlights, you see the difference. So anyways, this is the finished result. I'll put the before and after up. What I do now is I save it to camera roll and done. So yeah guys, that's how I edit my pictures, my, well my updated version of how I edit my pictures. Um, it's better quality now that I've got a new phone, um, just better ideas and how I edit kind of stuff. I do more but my battery's about to die. <laughs>